Okay, so Dwight, in your own words, someone replaced all my pens and pencils with crayons. I suspect Jim Halpert. Everyone has called me Dwayne all day. I think Jim Halpert paid them to. <laughs> yes, five bucks each, and it was totally worth it. This morning, I found a bloody glove in my desk drawer, and Jim Halpert tried to convince me I committed murder. I think he may be the real murderer. Jim Halpert said there was an abandoned infant in the woman's room. When I went to save the child, I saw Meredith on the can. Okay. This morning, I knocked myself in the head with the phone. That actually took a while. I had to put uh, more and more nickels into his handset until he got used to the weight, and then I just took them all out. Every time I typed my name, it said diapers. Just a simple macro. You know, these actually don't sound that funny one after another. But he does deserve it, though. By the end of the day, my desk was about two feet closer to the copier. Yeah, I just moved it an inch every time I went to the bathroom. And that's how I spent my entire day that day. Do you think that'll ever be us? No. What is wrong with you? Why did you even bring me here tonight? I don't know. Let's break up. Whoa, what? I broke up with Karen after the job interview. And uh, it was a little awkward when she came back from the city. She told me very clearly that just because we were broken up didn't mean that she was going anywhere because she had worked really hard for her career, but the next day her desk was empty. You're gonna live in the same house that you used to pee the bed in. Yeah, I guess technically, Kev, you're right. Today's a big day. Today is the day that I show Pam the house that I bought for us, without telling her. But it's my parents' house, the house I grew up in. And yeah, I bought it kind of impulsively. I mean, the price was good and I was helping out my mom. It's got shag carpets. I mean, you can't blame my parents, it was the 70s. And why would you wanna buy ugly wood from trees when you can have paneling and a painting of some creepy clowns that is apparently crucial to the structural integrity of the building. She's gonna love it. Right? There they come. Oh, 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 oh did, did you see that? See what? Wait, why did you stop it? Oscar, Let's Oscar. Play. yes, you're right to stop it. Thank you. Eject it. Hey, Jim, you let Michael fall in. Play it again. Oh. oh! He purposefully leaned away and let you fall. Oh, man. Oh. I think when I started to see you go in, I, I think I just froze. I don't think you froze. It's a killer new dance move. Do you want to talk in your office? Or? No. I didn't ask you. Would you like to talk? Judas. There are a lot of great salesmen in this office, but one of our great salesmen is also a great dad and a close personal friend of mine, Jim Halpert, best dad in the Wow, I do not parent for the awards, but I gotta tell you, it feels pretty good. Um, Cece, if you're watching this at home, it's way past your bedtime. By the way, how'd this get televised? Thanks. Well done. I don't know, maybe being a good dad is just following your own compass. I don't know, I don't know, thank you. Oh. Didn't think you mentioned me, huh? Didn't I? Hey man, it's Halpert. Did you go to the other guy yet? Great, don't. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm all in. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah! They said they were done with the
the investing and then you volunteered $10,000? No, no, I had to. Look, I needed to look like a team player, man. So you invested $10,000 to look like a team player? Because there's no way you guys are making this magic with just your mouths. Why, am I, am I overdoing it? No. No. Because he said, he said, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Steal my brain. And I'll be your crying shoulder. How's it going? We lost Bridgeport Capital. I have no idea what happened. It's like everything I did, he just wouldn't go for it. I'm so sorry. I have no idea where we're gonna come up with this money. We have to work insanely hard over the next few weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like you've already been working insanely hard. Can you figure out how to upload uh, CC's dance recital? I definitely could use a pick-me-up. Um, actually, funny story, I didn't get it. I shouldn't have been so cocky about my rectangle holding skills after all. You're not serious, are you? You didn't get any of the recital? No, I got the teacher introducing them and then the applause afterwards, but not so much of the middle part. Come on, Pam. Pam, I asked you if you could use the phone and you swore that you knew how. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sure we can get a copy. A lot of people were taping it. Oh, great. So we'll see somebody else's kid with CC in the background? It's really not that hard to film a video. Is there... I'm... <laughs> you want to ease up a little bit? Look, Pam, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what do I do? It's gone. That moment's just gone. I missed it. I don't know. Jim, maybe you should have been there. You're not serious, right? I mean, how is that fair? I'm in Philly. These are my days in Philly. You've agreed to this. You know what? I, I don't think you want to start a conversation with me about what's fair, okay? This is way more intense Pam, than I ever I'm not was. explaining this to you. Pam, I'm not going over Jim, this again. I don't know how else to, We, we I need you. To, I don't know how else to tell you, okay? I'm doing everything I can every week to bring home I something am, for I our am, family. I am trying to make everything perfect here, okay? So that you can have everything that you want. I'm doing this just for me? Is that what I'm doing? I'm doing it just for me. If that's what you think, then this is a really sad night. But you know what? I gotta go. Okay? Yep. We'll talk tomorrow? Yep. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Great. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. you can. Ryan. Give her a minute. Give her a minute. It's, it's just a tough situation, all right? It's getting tougher. I just don't know that it's going to be this hard. Yeah. Let's turn the cameras off. Seriously, guys. Enough. Enough. Hey. Hey. We are splitting a sublet on a place near Philly. Just a couple of grown, sexy-ass roommates. And as much as I miss Pam and the kids, it's uh, kind of nice to live the bachelor life again. You know, let your hair down. Jim was nice enough to give me his bedroom. I'm couching it! Which usually means there are clothes all over the living room. And this dude labels his food. He's the clean one, I'm the messy one. How much fun is this? <laughs> 